We're here with Eddie Goldstein, expert on eclipses, science communicator, science educator, and, and sun. And you are the sun, right? <laughs> so what I want to do is to have a, a model, something that we can take a look at at home. So we really explain the eclipse because there's got to be a great way to explain to kids so they can really see what's going on versus just the sun disappearing. So and we, what it will actually look like. Yep, absolutely. So here's what we have represented. You've got this little kind of uh, ball here that's the moon. We've got the earth and we've got the sun. Basically what we've got going on here is somehow the moon is going to block all the sunlight from the earth. Uh, especially if we're coming across the United States. Sort of. Actually, you know what? How about if you're the Earth okay. instead of that ball? So, so the Earth. back okay. up a little bit over there. So okay, you good. are the Earth. Okay. And I will hold up the sun. And what I want you to do, Steve, is right now move, close one eye, move oh, that one moon eye. Okay. ball until it exactly covers up. Okay, I've got to do this. Okay, it just covers up the entire sun. That is what an eclipse is. Now, a lot of times people say, how can such a small moon cover up the whole sun? Well, in terms of balls, this ball is five times as big as that ball, but it's five times as far away from your eye, and so it exactly covers it wow. up. So I've got to be right at that very distance, and as soon as I'm there. Now, the oh. real moon is, uh, well, the real sun is 400 times as far away as the moon, but it's also 400 times as big as the moon, and that is why people on Earth can see eclipses. It's just a lucky coincidence that we can. Okay, so if you're at home and you're trying this, here's the crazy thing is once you line it up, watch this, Eddie, if I do this, I can see the sun, and if I do this, I can see the sun. And you're not seeing the whole sun, you're seeing like a little a piece. A little sliver of it, right. And that's what you would see if you're not on that path of totality. If you were a place like Denver, you would actually see a sliver. Actually, if you take a look at this little animation that I made with Starry Night. So this Nights is the sun. Pro, yeah. Okay, so this is the moon covering up, and this is exactly what we're gonna see. If you have those special glasses and you're able to look up at it, this is what you're gonna see from Denver. And what you'll notice is that it never completely covers up the look at sun. that, look at that. And so, so you never why, can look at it directly. You always have to wear those glasses. So this is why they're saying in Denver, it's not going to be completely dark. It'll be 93%, but that little sliver there is going to cover it. But if you were in Casper, Casper Wyoming, Wyoming, take a look at this. If you're in Casper, if you move up just that far, it's like moving your eye over, look at this. This is where the good stuff happens. It's oh coming right gosh. now. This and is that. Nerd fest right here, <laughs> all right? So. This is why people are coming from all over the world to see this for two and a half minutes minutes they're going to be able to see this if it doesn't rain craziest thing lights are going to come on you're going to hear uh, stars insects. are going to come out you're going to see stars it's two and a half minutes it's absolutely amazing so if you're in denver it's going to be cool but if you're working your way up to wyoming or you're causing those traffic congestion kinds of things that they're get forecasting, there early get there early because it's going to happen thank you now i understand it eddie goldstein science educator thank you so much for helping us out it's all going to happen on the 21st we're going to have additional information that you can find over at 9news.com thank you